What if Geek Variants? What if season two? What if Nebula joined the Nova Corps? Let's talk about it. All right, we are back. We are talking about What If Season 2. This is definitely a welcome return of this series. We saw this uh, a, a while ago with a lot of Scarlet Witch, Iron Man, Zombie, some Spidey Hunter, a couple uh, Captain Carter episodes, a lot, a lot of stuff going on with What If, and even with the Watcher possibly breaking his oath. So now we're getting into Season 2 and trying to see what other kind of crazy concepts that they're going to come up with and you know, animate for us so we can see what's going on. So this one is about Nebula. What if Nebula joined the Nova Corps? So basically she decided to, you know, join the Nova Corps after basically dealing with Ronan. Ronan decided he was going to betray Thanos, which is a play off of kind of what he did anyway at some point in, you know, in, in the MCU. So when everything got betrayed, Nebula was kind of left for dead. And the only thing that she had left was herself. Her sister was gone. Everything was just bad for her. She ends up getting picked up by Nova Prime. Nova Prime decides to, hey, come on, I'm give you a place. You can stay with us. And that's kind of what she's been doing. She's been kind of working that ever since. Now, in the process of this, she's made some friendships. She's already been a good friend with Yondu for quite some time. But Ronan, we know, has a vendetta against Xandar. So what ended up happening is Nova Prime end up closing this giant shield using the shield generator to encapsulate Xandar so that Ronan could not get to it. So he's been locked out of it. Now we fast forward five years later. We've got Yondu dead. He's just dead. Maybe there's one who's there and trying to figure out what is going on. Like what happened to Yondu? So Nebula basically gets permission from Nova Prime to do the investigation to find out what happened to her friend. In the process of this, she ends up finding his arrow and with some schematics, and she's got to figure out what this is. So she goes to the one person that she knows can help her with all this, and it's at the casino. This is where the cameos start coming in, because that's what we kind of get from What If. You kind of get these cameos of different characters now in different positions, not the same as they were before. So we actually get Meek, Korg, Drax, and Groot all dropped in here. All are working at the casino. Well, three are working at the casino. Drax is trying to gamble and fail, failing horribly, and he's not happy about it. But me, Korg, and Groot are all working at the casino for the owner of the casino, Howard the Duck, which I was absolutely ecstatic about because I love Howard the Duck, and I'm glad his character is getting a little bit more shine. So basically, there's a whole lot of back and forth about finding out what's going on, and eventually it's like, okay, I need somebody who knows this kind of tech stuff. So Nebula's like, all right, once she gets the answer she needs, she's got to head to the prison to find out about Yon Rog. Another cameo. Yon Rog has been good with some tech stuff, so she decides she's going to break Yon Rog out of prison to help her find the shield generator core, which is what the blueprints turn out to be, and see if she can get the codes for it. So because somebody's after these codes, that's why they killed Yondu. Somebody's after him. And she's got to get them before they get to them. So she gets there. They go through all the little rigmarole of traveling there. And she's making sure that he's not trying to escape because that's what he's plotting to do. And eventually he just kind of sucks it up. He's like, all right, I'm here. I'm not going nowhere. They find the core, figure out what's going on. And this is where the fun twist happens. Yon Rog actually jams a USB into her and starts siphoning the codes out of her once she siphons them out of the core, which... I didn't see coming yet, and I was just kind of waiting to see how it was going to play out. And so just when it happened, I was like, bam, that's it. So basic is closed, leaves Nebula for dead, escapes. Nebula survives some type of way. She gets out of there, and then Nova Prime and Yon Rog are there to greet her when she finds her way out of the place. Because Nova Prime had orchestrated all this stuff from the beginning and set up Nebula to pretty much go down in the process she just needed her for her cyborg abilities so i was like dang i did not see nova prime flipping and because ronan's like i'm gonna leave you in charge and you just give me what i want which 
he wants to destroy Xandar, so I'm not sure how that was going to work out. That Nova Prime was still going to be a charge, but either way, that was the deal. So she pretty much betrayed uh, Nebula, and they had some of the Nova Corps uh, loyalists just kind of beat the crap. It looked like it was Denari and Saul. Uh, that was leading that little little strike team that just tried to finish off Nebula, and she was pretty much kicked off a cliff and left for dead. Finds way back to the casino, gets you know hooked up with the team, and they're like, "Yo, we got to go handle this because this is bad." And they go to confront Nova Prime, who was ready and waiting, like you know whatever. We got everything. Ron's on his way. Open up the shield, and this is where another twist happens. As the shield's opening, you see Ronin coming in, like, "Oh crap." It's about to go down. No. As soon as he got within range, that shield started closing back just perfectly for him to get in with the Dark Aster. And then the shield started to close and completely crushed Ronin's ship, destroying him in the process, or so it seems. I was not expecting that at all. Turns out Nebula was planning for this all along. She it was like a single cross, double cross, triple cross. It was just going all types of ways. But she set up a little bug in her thing to keep Yanra because she knew Yanra was going to be up to something. But she had peeped out Nova Prime from the beginning since she said, hey, this is kind of like a secret mission by any means necessary. So she, Nebula already peeped that she was doing some stuff and she was on some funny stuff. So she already started putting stuff into motion and they basically – Firefight goes down, and she's got to take out Nova Prime, and it gets down to the point where you got the classic, and because it's the holidays, I get the I get I get the the Hans Gruber feel on this because she's got Nova Prime dead to rights, and she's staring at her, and Nova Prime tries to pull up that gun, and you know she goes and she misses the shot, and she falls to her death. It looks like again we don't see her die, we just see her fall. But it's Nova Prime, as far as we know. She's got nothing else going on in this in this universe right now. So she falls to her death, and that's it. Now, the cool thing about this in your time is Nebula then took Yandu's fin and put it on. She was rocking Yandu's fin. I didn't really mention it before because it was short-lived. So that fin was, you know, broken real quick. You know, or the not the fin was broken, but the arrow was broken. So I was kind of upset about that. But the fact that she was rocking it. In itself was awesome. So, because she got on the Ravager garb, kind of looks like like she is on her on on her ish. Like she is ready to get the job done. And I really like this episode. So this episode was a great start. Again, these episodes are going to be going kind of fast because again, they're only about thirty minutes long. And we were waiting for it to drop. You know, uh, we were, it was we told it was going to drop later, but it dropped early. So hey, so make sure that you're here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Tune in. These things are dropping at about three a.m and stuff like back on the old schedule because they changed some stuff to new schedule so they're dropping about 3 a.m me or brent will be here to cover these episodes as they drop and these are dropping just like eight episodes it's dropping all the way up through new year's so so make sure you stay tuned again this is a great episode i'm very happy with this and glad to have what if back and can't wait to see what happens next so that's all for this one follow me i'll catch you guys in the next one